As if economic disaster is not enough, the prairie is on the verge of becoming a desert. Some children born during the drought will not see their first drop of rain until decades end. They eat what their parents can shoot when there is money for bullets. Thousands of farmers have no choice but to leave their homes behind. Much of the prairie is left abandoned. But Anne Bailey's family has worked the land for generations, and she has no plans to budge until the day she finds herself alone with her children and helpless against nature's wrath. My son came running into the house, greatly excited. Come quick, Mum, he shouted. There's a big black cloud coming in the sky. He ran out ahead of me and pointed to the western sky where, sure enough, there was the blackest, most terrifying-looking cloud I have ever seen. edge of it was rolling along. Panic rose in me. What should I do? Where should we go? The house was sure to be blown away, and our nearest neighbor was a mile away. At the rate the cloud was moving, I could never make it, as I would have to carry the baby. I shut the door tight picked up the baby, and yelling at the other two to follow, I ran for the dugout barn. Already the shadow of the cloud was upon us. light enough for me to see the forms of the cattle, I knew it was safe to open the door. So once again I looked outside. Everything, land, air, sky, was a dull grey colour. feet sank in sand, and we breathed and tasted sand. Such a mess. Canadians are overwhelmed by forces beyond their control, and there is only one man to turn to.